You probably already heard of SQL injections. For anyone who doesn't know, SQL is a structured query language, is a language used to modify and manipulate uh, our DBMSs, relations database management systems. And SQL injections are is a vulnerability which hacker uses to input SQL commands into website input field, therefore manipulating the databases. In this wonderful demo by DVWA, we're going to talk, talk about two SQL injections, normal SQL injections and SQL injection blind. The difference between the two is that in the normal SQL injections, we see outputs and the, in the blind, we don't see any outputs. But we're going to get later more deeper into that. First, we have the normal SQL injections. Here we have user ID and an input field. Let's type in one. Here we have ID one and first name admin and username admin. Let's type ID two. Here we have the ID2. This is not SQL injectionable yet, but we can check it out by, let's type a single column. Here we have a, an error. You have an error in your synced, uh, SQL syntax, check the manual corresponds with your MariaDB server inversion for a right syntax. So we know it's SQL injectable. We can either sit here and just keep typing SQL commands, or we can use burp suit for anyone who doesn't know burp suit is a tool used for app web, web applications to manage to manipulate to intercept uh, web applications here we first turn on foxy proxy we turn on burp suit and we go back to burp suit and we turn on intercept and then we can type anything let's just type in a doesn't matter right here we have the request we press right click on the request and we send it to intruder and the intruder we have right here ID we typed in A, so we, we highlight it, we highlight where we want the payload to be sent to, and we type we press add. And then right here we load the payload. Load. Here we have uh, in the word list WFuzz injections, SQL.txt. And here we have a bunch of SQL commands. So we just press and start attack. One, two, three. Okay. And here it already started. We can see to us to status code 200, 200, 200, 200, so they're all going through. And then what we're looking for right now is a uh, re response received. We're looking for a bigger number, a bigger size, which basically means uh, more text got outputted, basically meaning the database got outputted. And after letting it run for a bit, right here we can see this, uh, this payload right here has a bigger response, bigger length in bytes than all of the other ones. So we click on it, we can copy the payload, Right here, go back to the site, turn off proxy, proxy, disable it so it doesn't get intercepted, and we type right here. And boom, the whole database got outputted. Now, moving on to SQL blind, here we don't uh, see any outputs, so and we're not going to see a database dump, but we can check if it's a uh, SQL injectable. Here we can type user ID 1. And we know from the previous SQL injections, user ID 1 did exist, it was admin, first name admin, and surname admin. The uh, user ID 2, this one also exists. Let's type a single column. This one doesn't exist. It did not exist. And in itself, that doesn't mean it's injectable because the single column is probably not a user ID. It's not a user ID. But what we can do, we can do uh, one, user ID one, uh, single column, and we can do end one equals one. We know from math one, e uh, one equals one means true. 1 equals 0 means false. So we can try 1 equals 1. What we should get is user ID uh, exists in the database. So we can submit. And it doesn't mean it's injectable. But we... And that in itself doesn't mean it's injectable because a single column is probably not a user ID. But uh, we can try here. We can, we can do this in the, in the link right here. We can do one user ID one, which does exist. We do single column followed by and one equals one followed up by um, followed up by percentage 23, which is basically a comment to comment it out. And then we send this. 1 equals 1. Why? Because from math, we know 1 equals 1 always is true. 1 equals 1 is true. And this means it is SQL injectable because our SQL inject uh, SQL code uh, got uh, executed in the database because one uh, single column and 1 equals 1 is probably not a user ID. 
and we can try that we can also uh, make sure by typing one equals zero we should get user ids missing from the database because one equals zero is false we can try that. one two three here user id is missing from database so we can see the it is sql injectable but we cannot do any dumps because um, the output is only user id existing database or user id is missing on the base but this is a big vulnerability because we can try different ways we can find other ways to sql inject it because we already know this is sql injectable